Hello all, welcome to my video series tutorial to learn bot framework using Python language. This tutorial we are going to learn about custom metadata. First we will see in the dialogue and second part of the tutorial we learn about how to store the value using waterfall dialogue dictionary. This is a third dialogue tutorial. This tutorial we are going to learn about custom validation i will take ex this example mobile number this is a number prompt if other than number entered number prompt automatically validate and throw the exception uh, throw the error message to the user hey, this is not valid please enter the number the prompt again will pop up let's say for example if i run the application once again started connected to the bot please enter the name the note mobile number mobile number mobile here you see I'm, i didn't return any i didn't return any custom validation or any validation from my end but the number prompt automatically take the validation and uh, reprompt the same message Hey, this is not this is not number you have to enter the, the same message what we we are given previously the same it will prompt again because this is not valid okay if i enter the number fine this guy accepted some number is there but for us this is not mobile number mobile number set of digits it's required okay for example if india mobile number 10 digit it's required but here only four digits has entered we have to validate no on top of it we have to add our custom validation to find the length okay, this length is should be 10 you entered four digits so it's not valid so we cannot no allow to the user go to the next question or next step we have to control here to make our input proper and move to the next statement for that we are going to add, add the custom validation let's stop the application if you see number prompt there is a second argument callback function callable function here so here we have to add our custom validation function i'm just going to write one function called a sync diff is valid mobile number self just park it at the moment of pass i'm calling this function here self dot is is valid oh, that's what is not coming is valid mobile number so once the first validation done by the number prompt then automatically this function get invoked here we can write our custom logic if it is success we have to return the true this guy expecting this function expecting the true or false if it is true bot allowed to user go to the third sorry the dialog set allowed to user go to the final the next function uh, in our here example here we used to get email id if it is false again the same prompt will pop up like how the custom validation it's sorry number prompt is working now the same way it will work for our custom validation also so this guy will return true or false and for that to validate this one we have to import one more model called prompt validator context this is the argument here for this one prompt valid prompt context validate number prompt throw the, uh, no call this function using passing this argument this argument we have to check first what you have to check if prompt validate recognized is success 
succeeded is false i will tell about this one now if it is succeeded that means this statement if it is true this guy will come to true statement we can go process over the next statement if it is success if it is success then go to the else case no validate uh, here uh, we are going to write our logic to validate 10 digit or 4 digit whatever it is but first before that whether this is number or not if it is number this is true that is internally handled by the number prompt okay if it is false then no need to process from our, our statement also our custom logic no need to process our custom logic because the first statement itself is failed for that i'm checking just checking prompt validator is succeeded sorry is false then no need to process anything just throw the message prompt valid dot contacts dot sent activity hey please enter the number please enter the just uh, we'll make number only in case this guy is true our number validation is true it's passed then in the else case it will come here we have to check our custom logic here we have to write our custom logic value equal to str just for a prompt validator say dot value if let's say length value less than we consider less than three then wait prompt dot validator context dot send activity please enter the valid mobile number actually it should be 10 but for uh, you know demo purpose i'm using 3 return false return false if everything success then return true that's it Save. Go to the application. Run it. Application started. I'm going to restart my emulator. Please enter the name. Just enter in here and trading mobile. Hey, please enter the number. We'll fix this issue. Please enter the name here. Please enter the number. That means this first statement itself it's failed. Number prompt thro thrown and false state here. Succeeded is false. So our message it it will po get pop up here. Please enter the number. Here you can see it's coming. Please enter the valid. It's automatically go to the next statement because we are not returning false. That's the reason. Just go to here. Return false. This function main focus return value whether this should be false or true if you are not returning anything then you know if you are not returning anything then automatically take the return statement is true it will go to the next statement okay we have to carefully handle this one i just restarted here again close it bot running again i am connecting win and just enter some number here it thrown throw the our message hey please enter the number that is our this statement we enter some number one two now he now you see 12 please enter the valid number so num first number prompt is succeeded this guy is succeeded now we will add our logic we are checking what is the length length should be less than or three we consider that one is an invalid mobile number so we are throwing the message to the user hey please enter the valid mobile number that's what the statement is coming now if this time if you enter the proper number then it will process and move to the next statement so this condition is get true true is succeeded then automatically dialog set passed our uh, no sorry number prompt is get passed it will move to the 
next statement get valid email id i hope you can understand how to use a custom validation in the prompt dialog we'll see in next tutorial thanks to all bye